So like, let's just think about what's happening in the world right now, right? Like Elon Musk started talking about, should I build a social media platform that has free speech? Everybody said, yes, build it. But he doesn't have the time to spend 10 years to build that platform. He has the money to buy the biggest platform in the world. And so first he bought 9% of Twitter. And if you're watching the news today, he just made an offer to buy all of Twitter. Right. And so, so the same person that owned, you know, Solar City and Tesla and Twitter, right? Like, and this is what's happening around the world. This is happening in China. This is happening in India. This is happening in Europe. What's happening is the big companies are getting bigger and we're moving into a phase of business where we're going to have, you know, basically like 500 or a thousand companies around the world that are really, you know, the majority of all the revenue and services that we all get. Right. Um, if, if you look at what happened with Uber, um, it's also happened with McDonald's, um, you know, Uber went from a transportation company and when they started delivering food, they eclipsed DoorDash overnight. Why? Because they have more drivers, right? So more connect points, right? More points of connection, which is what we're trying to do here with connect and this team, the more connection points you have, uh, the more advantage you have around the world. Um, over the last 25 years, when McDonald's sold a Garth Brooks CD, they outsold Tower Records when they were still record companies, right? Because they had more distribution points than Tower Records. When they added, when McDonald's added the same year, which was about 10 years ago now, when McDonald's added gourmet coffee, Starbucks had to close 600 locations. That's the impact of having a lot of connect points. That's the impact that these big companies have. During COVID, during COVID in the United States, a third of the American businesses went out of business and Amazon doubled in size. Right. So a third of the a third of the the, the hardworking, you know, families that started their own business and right went out of business and Amazon doubled in size and Walmart became more profitable. Right. And this is the this is the stage of, of economies that we're in where these big companies have um, a lot of big advantages. And so um, I think the same thing is going to be true with blockchain. There's tens of thousands of projects out there. The world is only going to need two or 300. And so what I want to tell everybody is, so just please slow down in publishing content. Let's not be like, like all the other blockchain projects. Let's not just get really excited and just push out excitement, right? Because when you're pushing out excitement, you get this, but then you get this, right? You get the pump, but then you get the dump, right? Like you, you know, and we don't want to do that. Right. We're trying to build something that really is a long term project. We're trying to build it in a, in a real, organic, decentralized way. And I think we have a really good chance of succeeding. 